Got it stoke at the store, stroke on the small. Tell me to quit, no, no, sound what I'm told. They help me forget that this world. I'm here um, to tell you guys this right here this design could really help out a lot because this these stairs they really help maintain the uh, space between you and getting raided and the floors I know I don't have them upgraded right now because I just put them on because I forgot about it these if you maintain the fact that these are um these are really stopping you from getting online rated or even offline rated um the only thing that really matters is the fact that you could have your base decayed and it could go down but if you maintain everything in your base this could be this honestly if you because you need to build it high enough and the height of your base will really matter now you cannot go short you must go tall because these raiders these zergs are going to get your base and especially if they see a little base like this they will get on top of your base and they will look for a way in and it is really easy to get in those windows now if you guys have no window bars or even wooden window bars or even matter of fact metal uh, window bars they're actually gonna attack your window bars even if it's these they will attack it I'm telling you right now they will attack that because that is the easiest way to get in now because if you don't have any stairs around your base they will be able to jump in by a ray tower if you do have these they will have a ray tower set up across the vicinity but if you build it out even more and have TC's out here it will stop you from getting griefed but like I said the TC's are basically nerfed they don't do what they used to do so they're pretty useless alright coming into the base the basic sign that I have set up is first in the airlock you do have a far uh, not a farmer sorry a fireman shoot um I really suggest you putting a door on the triangle instead of the f uh, regular square floor because you will be able to have the airlock defense um coming in over here you will have a sleeping bag you can fit two bags one for your for yourself and the other for your friend or even a slave you do have two furnaces a water purifier and a campfire for the beginning this is just for the beginning part the first floor then later on when you get further into the game you will make your second floor and it will be a TC but you do not have to put windows on these these are just suggested by me and you do not want to put them on the same spot like on the same square floor on the each level as you guys can see I put them on the square floor down there and on the triangle flooring down he up here now the main thing is having your loot separated from each floor you can have them on every other floor the higher you go up this doesn't include this does include a repair bench and a locker it does not include a bed large furnace nor a um, oil refinery um, you do have a lot of space you have a lot of storage this is very expandable by going up, not sideways or anything. You do need to maintain the uh, the shape of this base. The circular base design will be more common now after the new update. You do have roof access. If you do want to have roof access, you can if you want. You don't really have to because if you do, they'll just go through right here. And you do not want to have your base looking like this. You need to have it more higher. And if you do have a ladder hatch at the very top, you do not want to put your loot at the very top. I'm telling you right now. Because you will get raided and you will get booty hurt. Now don't come in crying in the comments because you got raided by following the same exact base design. And your loot will all at the top. But that's it for this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.